Thanks, Travis. You talked about some of the rainfall totals. Well, some areas have already had nine inches of rain in the last few days. Flood warnings are in effect for several counties tonight. The Caney River is expected to crest within the next 16 hours. News on Six's Ashland Brothers joins us live near the Caney River, just south of Bartlesville. Ashland? Well, Lori and Craig, we're seeing some overflow of that Caney River spill onto roadways and saturate people's land. Now, everyone I talk to says the same thing. It could be worse, and, well, it has been before. The river's going to do what the river does. The Caney River is expected to crest tomorrow, reaching up to 29.6 feet. Officials say most structures are fine, but fields and pastures are soaked as water rolls over rural roads. If it rains too much, you can't get out of here because there's a slough over here on the south side. And then on the other side of the Caney River Bridge, all that goes underwater for about a half a mile to a mile. But this hasn't been anything near like it's been in the past. Tulsa Area Emergency Management Executive Director Joseph Krolichik says driving into high water endangers yourself and others. Claremore several years ago had a firefighter who we unfortunately lost trying to do a swift water rescue. He says this is nothing like when the Caney River reached its record in 1943 at 39.8 feet or the catastrophic flood of 2019. There were some boat rescues just right down the road here on both sides in, in 86. A car was swept off the road just on the other side of the bridge, and the only thing holding it was the barbed wire fence. If it had gone, it probably would have killed the people. Kralichik says you should stay out of all flood water. You could see anything from you know, chemical contamination to sewage contamination. Emergency management expects the water to go below flood stage Friday afternoon. Live in Washington County, Ashland Brothers, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.